All right, hi everyone. Um, my name is Jordan. I uh, posted a previous U YouTube video uh, with my Spider Victor 2 I was selling. Uh, nothing special, but um, I did a few upgrades on it. Uh, if you had a chance to check it out, which I doubt, I only had like 26 views or something like that. Anyway, I replaced my Spider Victor 2 with a uh, Proto PMR. Um, I just got this gun a couple days ago. I'm still selling my Spider. Um, bought this gun for about 400, a little over 400 Canadian. It's an 07 model. Um, I'm just going to go through the upgrades that I put on the gun so far. Well, the upgrade is uh, the Freak Junior Barrel Kit. It comes with inserts, um, three of them. Uh, you can get the full Freak Kit. It comes with seven or eight inserts. I can't remember which one. This is a 14-inch two-piece. I uh, haven't had a chance to use it yet. I did shoot outside a couple, uh, couple hundred rounds. Works great. I love it. main thing I want to talk about today is the gun and the gun maintenance. Um, I had a chance to program the board and take the gun apart, uh, take the uh, back cap off and pull all the bolts out and everything. Um, when I first put air to the gun, I had a small leak. I thought it was coming from the, uh, the grip, but it uh, turns out it was coming from under the, uh, the frame. Uh, what happened was is I tightened the, when I first got the gun, the back cap was too tight. And um, the way the gun's designed is air is supposed to escape from the back cap a little bit. Um, not enough so that I can hear it. Um, but I had it too tight, or when I got the gun, it was too tight, and the air was leaking out of the trigger guard. So I checked out the gun, checked out O-rings. Turns out, if you just finger tight this back cap, like see, I can't loosen it. But if I just finger tight it, and then to loosen it later, use an Allen key, no air escapes anywhere else. But the back cap, you can't hear it go, tss, and everything's good. It also eliminates your stripping problem because people are always complaining about stripping the plastic back cap. Well, don't tighten it like an idiot, you won't strip it, or don't loosen it like an idiot, you won't strip it. So just give it a nice little loosen with your allen key and then do the rest with your fingers. The whole mechanism just pulls out. I'll probably post another uh, YouTube video after I play with the gun to clean it, do the maintenance on it, and that way you guys can see how the whole thing take, comes apart, where you should lube, what or wings you should check, stuff like that. Um, next thing I want to go through is the possible upgrades that people are talking about, like the uh, the frame and the trigger, um, and the, uh, the ESA. Um, I have never experienced on off ASAs, so if that's your preference, go for it. So far, so good. I haven't had problems with this one. I put the tank on. It works great. Nothing uh, nothing to complain about. Um, one thing I do want to comment on is the uh, people are getting the UL frames. Uh, I really don't think it's necessary. I love this frame. I think it looks great. I think it feels great. Um, very light. Uh, it, it's great. I don't know why people would want to change it. I don't find the UL frame looks very good anyway. The trigger, beautiful trigger. I love it. People complain that it's plastic and you can bend it. I mean, how could you bend this? You just have to touch it like that and it's fine. I don't see how I'm ever going to be able to bend it, so I'm keeping it. As you can see, it's nicely colored. I love the color. It looks great. Um, I know that people, other people complain about how this part is plastic here, where they're breaking it because they're tightening their hopper on it. Well, I tightened my hopper on it. I grabbed my hopper from, from the, this point and I was holding the gun from the hopper and I shook it around a little bit. It wasn't coming off. This is made out of plastic and rubber, so the rubber really holds on tight. If you tighten this, you know, to the point where it's tight but not like gonna break tight, it'll hold it and won't be a problem. So just don't over tighten anything; you won't break anything. Just be gentle, you know. It's uh, it's a paintball gun, but treat it like your baby, you know, like you buy uh, your first car or something like that. You know, you wash it every day. Well, this gun needs care. It needs your, you to take your time with it, and that's that. So uh, I haven't had a chance to play with it yet. I'm going to in a couple of days. Uh, and uh, maybe I'll post some videos of the gun shooting or maybe playing with it or whatever. But I'll uh, definitely post a video of uh, maintenance afterwards. I'm going to take the uh, whole back cap off, take the bolt out, lube up everything, and clean the eyes out. Um, maybe I'll do a dry fire right now. I have the gun set on uh, Millennium mode at 22 paintballs a second. So if I want, I can shoot semi. I wonder if you guys can hear this. Okay, but if I want to go crazy, I can go crazy. And I'll listen to 22 paintballs a second. Alright, hope you guys can hear that. I'll post more videos on uh, later about maintenance and stuff like that. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to make comment. Thanks, see you later.